This is the Financial News Network. I'm Chuck Pierce. Eli Lilly reported second quarter earnings this morning, posting an EPS of $1.18, slightly above analyst estimates of $1.17. Revenues for the quarter rose 8.8% year-over-year to $6.25 billion, better than $5.99 billion. Eli Lilly has raised and narrowed its full-year 2011 non-GAAP earnings per share guidance to a range of $4.25 to $4.35 per share. On a reported basis, the company now expects full-year 2011 earnings per share to be in the range of $3.85 to $3.95. Earnings per share guidance excludes potential future restructuring charges. John C. Lechleiter, Ph.D., Lilly's chairman, president, and chief executive officer, said, quote, In the second quarter, Lilly once again achieved solid volume-driven revenue growth, despite the negative impact of generic versions of gemcitabine in the United States. Our financial results reflect the solid performance of many of our marketed products, as well as important investments we are making to expand our commercial opportunities and deliver the new wave of potential new medicines to patients. Key Lilly products continue to perform well, including Cymbalta, Cialis, and other insulins. Exchange rates have also contributed to favorable sales comparisons. At the same time, we are investing for the company's future by supporting the launches of new medicines and new indications, as well as funding our R&D pipeline, which now boasts 70 potential new medicines in clinical development. Eli Lilly should find initial support at its 50-day moving average of $37.83 and further support at its 200-day moving average of $35.93. For more updates, stay tuned. You're watching the Financial News Network. I'm Chuck Pierce.